Okay, this is what I expect out of the students in my class. First of all, I expect you to be here. You're not going to learn anything if you don't come to class. And next, I expect you to read the book. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. You need to have the textbook for this class. The information that's in there will be used for testing. You also have some online quizzes that you'll be taking. So you want to make sure that you have the textbook. I also expect you to do your work. I can't judge how well you're doing in this class if you never turn in a homework assignment. In fact, you'll find out very quickly that you're going to get behind if you don't keep up on the work. I want you to ask questions. The old philosophy that the dumbest question is the question that's never asked is absolutely true. I want you to ask questions. If something doesn't make sense, we'll go over it. If we can't cover it during class time, please feel free to come by my office or when I'm here uh, in my other lab over in 210, and I'll go over the material with you until I'm sure uh, or you're sure that you have it. I want you to do some research. If you can't figure out something in the textbook, then I want you to take a look online. Look at the help files. If you come to me to ask for help, the first thing I'm going to ask you is, what have you tried? What have you done? All right? So this is a two-way street as we work. Community college environment doesn't mean that Rose State is any easier than OSU or OU or UCO. What it means, though, is you're going to get more attention from the faculty members and the staff that are supporting. Additionally, I want you to be able to think. Think about the problems we're going to work. Think about the assignments that you're going to have. Don't wait to the last minute to get it done. There's no reason you all have A's in this class right now. There's no reason, as long as you do your work and stay up with what we're doing, that you can't keep that A for the entire semester. So think, think, think when you're in our classroom. Here's my philosophy. Everybody starts with an A. I've already mentioned that. This is learning by discovery. All right, the assignments are going to teach you the basics. You have to take an active role in this class. I want you to participate. I don't want you, again, to be afraid to ask a question. That's the way we all learn. And I guarantee you right now, if I don't have the answer, I'll get the answer for you and share it with the entire class. Advice is always available if you need it. People don't like to ask for help, but I give free advice or you want to come over to my office, please do. By the way, my office has no heat. So if you come over, please bring a coat. And I do have hot chocolate and coffee I will share. Bring a coat if you come over uh, in the next couple of weeks. You're adults. That's how I'm going to treat you. You're not in high school anymore. Consider yourself out in the workforce. And right now, Rose State College is your job. So you need to perform here like you're going to perform when you get out and work. You're responsible for your grades. I have students come up and tell me, you gave me a C in this class. And I said, no, I didn't. You earned a C. You started with an A. So what grades you get in this class is totally your responsibility. I'll present the information. I'll help you go through it. But you're responsible, and therefore you control your grade. Attendance, assignments, and extra credit. Each class system, or I generally do not accept late work. I don't believe in extra credit. It's never worked in the past, so I don't even talk about it. Some of my pet peeves. I couldn't do your work because I had another class. Well, if that class is more important than this one, then drop this class and take it sometime when you have time to work with it. Don't wait till the last minute to do your homework. I won't be very understanding. So, if you would, read this. We have several other professors that teach this class. And no hard feelings, as it says. You're free to walk out right now. Uh, however, I guarantee I'm going to take you beyond the, beyond the book. All right, one of the things I've noticed, and I've been with Rose State um, since 2000, and one of the things I've noticed is a lot of my students, especially the ones 
that are just brand new or just coming back to college have problems taking notes. So I'm familiar with Cornell Note Taking Guide. Now, it may not work for you, but if you don't have a system to take notes, I'd recommend you take a look at this and I... Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to take Cornell style notes. The first thing that you're going to want to do is grab a lined piece of paper and you're going to want to divide it into three sections like this. At the top of the page you're of course going to put today's date and the topic that's being discussed in lecture. The middle section which is the biggest section is where you're going to start writing down everything that you feel is important from lecture and from your reading. After lecture, or after you've completed your reading, you're going to use the left hand side to pull out key ideas, definitions, and questions that you create based on the information that's in the middle section. Once you've done that, at the bottom of the page, you're going to summarize what that topic is about. And here's a little tip to help you learn how to summarize information. Ask yourself this question. How would I explain this particular topic to a five-year-old who's never heard of this topic before? You want to put it in your own words and you want to summarize it as simply as possible. If you can't explain something simply, then you don't fully understand it. Well, I hope that you found this note-taking tip video helpful. And I paused her there because she gets really, really boring after that. This is a note-taking guide that I use myself. I use it in business meetings. I use it in the courses that I take. And yes, even faculty members here continue to take courses. It is a really, really good note-taking process. So I recommend you give it a try, see how it works for you, and hopefully it will work very well. And this is just another way to show you how to do it. Again, whatever works for you if you're going to try the Cornell system, good. Give it a shot. Uh, also, if you want to know more about it, there are additional videos out on YouTube and you can actually go to the Cornell University website and find out more about how they use it. This is my office. It's at the corner of Hudeberg Drive and Tinker Diagonal. I'm in room 115. That's on the first floor and you go to the Fab Lab and make a left turn and go all the way to the end of the hallway. I invite you to come over at any time. If you have not seen the Fab Lab, we give tours on uh, Friday mornings, and I'd encourage you to come by and see that resource that you have as a Rose State student. In fact, you get a pretty good deal as a student to be able to come in and use the equipment and learn how to do additive manufacturing. Right now, we have a laser. We have four 3D printers. We can make circuit boards. We have electronic components. We also do molding and casting, and we actually have a uh, student that has opened a small soap and chocolate business and learned how to make her molds over at the Fab Lab. So I'd encourage you all to come over and, and visit if you haven't seen us.